liners. And I'm going to teach you how to do a bottle liner. This is just a really, really quick tip if you have a um, hank of yarn if you want to wind it up. Okay. The first thing what you're going to do is you see these ties? You're going to cut those ties. And make sure that you don't cut the yarn because that's going to cut all your yarn up and you won't be able to use it and you just waste all that money for nothing. So you're going to cut the ties. And then if you have like a yarn swift that's almost like an umbrella almost, you can put it on there. But if you don't have a yarn swift, you can always use like a your office chair if you have the ones that are the backs that look like this. And you find an end, so there's your end. You're going to put it on the chair or on your yarn swift. Now I have the um, Knit Picks um, Ball Winder and their website is knitpicks.com. Okay, this is how you use it. You see this metal thing right here? What you're going to do is, hold on. What you're going to do is you're going to take your end of your yarn and you're going to put it through the hole. So it's kind of hard at first, but you get it. Okay, so it's in there completely. And then this long type of pole thing, there's going to be two little slits at each end. So you're just going to put the yarn in there. Now you're going to untangle your yarn a little bit. And now you're going to turn your handle to the right. And then when you do that, your yarn is going to get attached onto your ball winder. So it makes a nice center pole ball of yarn. And then when you're done, you're going to get a yarn that looks like this. And so you can just pull it out from the middle and doesn't roll all over the place. So I'll show you again, you just take the handle and you just um, turn it to the right and then your yarn catches onto the little pull thingy. Okay, that's just a really quick tip and that's all and maybe today I'm probably going to teach you how to do stock net stitch, it depends. So that's all for today. Bye.